an amazing person's module we have here with this great hover effect. And you can download this module for free. Let me show you how you can load this module on your page in just a few clicks using Dividend On Demand plugin. But also how you can create this module from scratch. Open the page and click Add from Library. Make sure to select Dividend On Demand tab. And here under this free person module, click the load button. If you can't see the module on your right, you can use the search box to find it. Then click the load button and in a moment this module is going to be saved to your library. Then update your page and then click add from library once again. This time select add from library tab. And then select the module that you just saved to the library. The CSS code is automatically added to the page and there's, there isn't anything you should do in addition your uh, person's module is all set and let's preview the page to make sure and there we go it looks good it looks fantastic let me also show you how you can create this module from scratch first add a new standard section and choose the row with two columns also add another row this time with four columns now go to section settings and select advanced tab and here we want to add a unique CSS class. Click save and exit. Now let's edit row settings. And here select design tab. We want to enable this option to use custom width and make the width 1175 pixels. Also let's scroll down to spacing section and add the bottom padding 0 uh, pixels value and also for column 2 padding top value uh, 0 pixels as well and also select advanced tab and here we want to add some CSS for column 1 main element and the exactly same CSS code for column 2 main element each CSS code I'm pasting here you can grab it and copy it from uh, the text tutorial so now click save and exit and let's edit the settings of the second row. Uh, go to design tab here and also use custom width. Uh, set this option to yes. We're going to add the same value for the width. For this uh, row we also want to set the custom gutter width to yes and make it 2. Also in the spacing section we want to make the top padding 21 pixel right 0, pic 0 pixels, bottom 27 pixels and left 0 pixels. Now select advanced tab. For the main element box we want to paste this CSS and for the column 2 main element here it is we're going to paste this CSS. Once again you can find all these CSS codes in our text tutorial. Click save and exit. Now we want to add our modules. For the top row we want to add two text modules. So click the insert module and choose the text one. And here let's add some content, for example meet our team. And that's it for the content tab. Now click design tab. And here we want to customize how the font of this module looks like. For the text font choose this one and make it medium. For the color I'm going to use this hex value that you can also copy and paste from our text tutorial and for the text size we are going to make it 36 pixels for the desktop and the tablet and for the smartphone let's make it 30 pixels. Letter spacing should be minus 0 0.1 pixels and the line height 120 percent. Also in spacing section we are going to make the left margin minus 3 pixels. That's it for this tab. That's it for this module. Actually so now let's add another text module in the second column of this row and let's add a content for example team of 
professionals. Switch to design tab and here we want to make uh, this fun family, we'll leave it to regular for the color, add the same hex value as in the previous module and make this uh, 16 pixels. Uh, for the text size, for the letter spacing we're going to use 0.3 pixels and the line height is going to be 28 pixels. Text orientation for this module should be right. And also we're going to make the custom margin this uh, time right one is going to be 3 pixels. Click save and exit. And now the reason we're here. Insert the Divi's person module uh, into any of these empty columns. And let's add some content here for the name. Uh, type anything you want. I'm going to type just name, surname and for the position. We also want to add some text. Also, we want to add uh, an image for this person. I'm going to add this one. And for the background, make sure to select the black color, black solid color. Now uh, we can switch the design tab. And here, let's see what we should add. Uh, scroll down to text options. We're going to make a font uh, this one again and select it to be medium. Text orientation should be right and the font color uh, white. For the font size make it 20 pixels. Letter spacing and 30 pixels for the line height. For the body font let's make it this font family regular right alignment uh, also white and 16 pixels for the body letter spacing 0.4 pixels and 120 percent for the line height and now switch to advanced tab and we want to add some css codes here inside the members image box add this for the description we're going to add this and for the title another small code here once again you can all copy this from the text tutorial and now that we have done that we can clone our module to other three empty uh, columns here of course when you clone it you want to update content you want to change the person's information uh, name position image and that's it another thing we want to do here is to add the custom css once again go to our text tutorial and copy the custom css that's there then go to page settings and paste the css inside the custom css box click the save and let's update the page and see what did we do here uh, let's preview the page and there we go it looks really nice so that's it for this tutorial i hope you like it and thanks for watching